the uh, important uh, uh, aspects of uh, Japanese corporate governance uh, practices uh, are that uh, they are driven by certain Japanese business norms. And one of the, uh, those norms which people and companies usually take for granted is uh, uh, corporate groups called k groups. And uh, I found that uh, their impacts uh, on corporate governance mechanisms are very, very significant. So uh, even if a company, uh, companies, uh, or even government, actually the Japanese government really wanted to bring in more uh, Anglo-American style uh, corporate governance practices so that Japanese companies become more transparent, more profitable, and uh, uh, also provide more uh, level playing field for U.S. companies and so on. Uh, Japanese corporations uh, have been very uh, selective in adopting these uh, practice, U.S. style practices. For example, uh, to make their corporations more uh, efficient. One way to do it is to introduce more outside uh, directors of the board. Uh, and But Japanese new laws actually allow that to happen. So Japanese companies could do that, but they have been very uh, reluctant in uh, introducing more outsiders in, in, into their boardroom. So it is really uh, that sort of thing. So it's uh, less transparency and uh, uh, that comes from the uh, corporate groups uh, primarily, their impacts, yeah.